Here in San Francisco, we are very interested in the cheapest panels that produce the most power. And every year, those panels get cheaper and they produce more power. And we're also piloting some of the latest technology to see if it has other applications for other rooftops here throughout San Francisco. So we have demonstrated the first solar cell that is entirely composed of uh, uh, carbon-based materials, uh, mainly carbon nanotubes, graphene, and fullerenes. Uh, previously, people have demonstrated uh, a carbon active layer, but the electrodes were not composed of carbon. The electrodes are composed of what electrodes are typically composed with, of which is uh, some kind of metal or some kind of transparent conducting oxide, uh, which have uh, their disadvantages in that they cannot be used in flexible uh, applications. Uh, they tend to be expensive. So we want to use alternative types of electrodes, specifically carbon electrodes, uh, because they are solution processable and they can be potentially made in a cheap manner. Not dispersed yet. So I would do a high power sonication uh, to disperse these. You can see I'm not using any uh, expensive machinery or uh, substrate. It's kind of a oh. plastic substrate. And uh, So right now, we have a kind of a proof of concept demonstration of a working solar cell. Our efficiencies are uh, not competitive uh, for industrial use. So we're working on improving the efficiency of our solar cells by improving the design of our structure, uh, of our uh, solar cell, in addition to using different materials that would absorb the light better, that would be more efficient at separating the holes in the electrons, that would be more efficient at collecting your charges. Um, we hope that we can start producing uh, solar cells that have efficiencies uh, above 1% uh, that can be then looked into uh, realistic applications. Right now, uh, the world record is 12% efficiency and uh, probably needs to be more like 15 or 16% efficient, so we're getting close. And it lasts six years and um, it certainly be better if it lasted 25 years. If you want to compete with the electricity you can get from the grid, you would need the higher efficiency and the lifetime. But if you want to be off-grid and you want portable power, um, then it's um, you know much closer to being ready. I think you'll see people stacking solar cells on top of each other and one will be designed to harvest light in one part of the solar spectrum and another will be designed to harvest another part and uh, you can get more of the power when you do that and, and you know that's how the efficiencies will uh, go up. <laughs> 